Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal down in the paint department, looking at the production schedule, a lot going on. Uh, we got a lot to show you this morning, so stick with us. It's brilliant, as Woody would say. We're gonna go look at a couple of coaches that are in the paint department, then we're gonna walk through service and look at a brand new coach that's getting outfitted with some bays. So we're gonna go in booth four and look at this, but we have to go all the way around. <clears throat> Everybody loves this room because of all the paint panels on the walls on both sides. Everybody knows I like a white bumper too. Sorry, I didn't mean to run into you, Michelle, but look at those white bumpers. We're gonna see a white bumper here on uh, 1390 in just a second. Let's run this way. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Look at these. I don't know what coach this is for. I think it's 91. Oh boy, I think it's 91. 1391's bumpers. Very cool. Yep, says right there, 1391 bumper bolts. I was right. Morning. All right. Come on in, let's take a look. We don't want to get too involved in getting in their way, but this is 1393. Woo! Triple slide, super bath, great floor plan, you guys. 1393 is getting its base coat today. So it's all prepped and ready. And after break, which happens at 915, so in about 15, 20 minutes, they're going to start laying the base coat uh, of this coach. 1393. Let's go around this way, see what kind of trouble we can get into. One of the things that really stands out when a coach is prepped is that we sand down all of the surfaces. This is an H3, of course, the new H3 from Prevo, but we sand down all the surfaces to make sure the surfaces are uh, exactly uh, the way they need to be for being painted, which for the most part means eliminating as many of the imperfections of the fiberglass panels as possible. And it looks like they've done a lot of that. Everything is masked off and ready to be sprayed. Coach 1393, triple slide, very exciting. All right, let's keep it moving. It's like a wind tunnel in there. All right, now let me peek in here on 91. Okay, you can, I'll let you take a brief shot of what's going on in there. This is a beautiful paint job. And you guys know the, the deal about Mondays. We don't like to interrupt production, including paint. So we're not gonna go in there because he is sanding on that coach. Like I said, white bumpers. Take a look at that. 1390, this is an X3 double. Michelle, if you want to get shots all around this coach, what a beautiful paint job. You know I like a good white bumper. I was telling Ryan this morning, I love a white bumper. This is a cool coach, you guys. Here's a, This is something that I really like. I like how we're leaving the stainless but the paint is coming down into the stainless, including all the way down here. This is a really cool paint job. Here's another cool thing that you can see is, looks like our paint team is working on some graphics, working on different styles of how to do that graphic different colors, all in this gold motif or gold color, but all in different, some sparkly, some fainted, some ghosted. Very cool. It's a neat paint sample. Love that paint job. 1390. Yeah, very cool. All right, let's boogie this way. We're gonna go check out our service department before we get out of here for the day. We had a little joke this morning about the metal shop. When you walk through the metal shop, feel like we should see a metal band in the corner playing every time you walk in. See, metal bands. All right, all right. 
a very busy Monday in service. Lots going on. We're going to see a lot of coaches from, from late models to new coaches. And this third coach on the row is the latest from Marathon. We've seen 1380. This is 1381 getting in post-production outfitted with its bays. Go take a look at that. This coach is getting outfitted with its Really nice configuration. You want to take a mark kind of look in here? Well, I'm not going to stop you from what you're doing. We can just kind of mosey around here. The Ninja Wood Fire. I've never heard of that one, but oh, I get it. Probably very easy to clean, too. The Ninja Wood Fire. Very nice. And remember, you guys, Marathon's bays are so customizable. And what we do is we get the customer involved in making the decision on what they want. And that's kind of what happened with uh, this coach. I love it. And you got the flip up on both sides. That'll be nice. Adds a lot of space on both sides of that barbecue. We're not going to go inside yet because we'll show you a whole comprehensive uh, video of the latest from Marathon 1381. Very cool. And as you walk down the row, all kinds of different coaches. Some are in here for remodel. Some in here. My man Fred just bought a coach. Congratulations to him. So much going on. Don't forget to make your appointments, as my man Kurt Nelson would say. Oh, hey, Kurt, how are you? <laughs> as as uh, Kurt and Chris will tell you, make those appointments, you guys. If you're going to head into a service center, you need to have an appointment. Florida, Texas, or Oregon, uh, those slots, you know, we, we want you to come in, drop your coach off, and, and get your coach worked on right away. You know what? We got time. Do we have time? Do we have time? We got a few minutes. Thank you, Michelle. Let's roll. <laughs> Sorry, Abigail. I didn't even wait for your response. All right, 1384 right behind me. We're actually going to walk down here. 1389 right here. 1387. Let's peek in here. You mind if we peek in here? Let's see back here, the crew working. C ceiling is up. Wires are pulled. Look at that dash. Lots going on, wiring above the cockpit, lot going on. This is going to be a really cool coach, you guys. This paint job, um, I, I can't wait to see this outside again when it's completed. 1387. Very cool. It's a new shell right here. And from this vantage point, you can see a whole lot of the production floor. Got a couple of coaches over there in audit. Got a new shell over here. 1386, a custom quad over there. Man, exciting stuff. I love it. You know, I, like I've said before, I get to do this every Monday uh, and show you guys what's going on at Marathon. We just pretty much walked from one side, from the south end to the north end of the building. It never gets old. I never get tired of being able to show you what these Oregonians are making here in this building. It is uh, pretty impressive to see uh, what we put out of this building. Be yourself and do good things. Have a good week. Let me know if you're looking to get into a Marathon Mal W, M-A-L-W at MarathonCoach.com. For those of you who are watching on YouTube, big ups to you guys. Uh, keep your comments as lovely as I love them. Whatever that means, I'll let you figure it out. See ya.